Hey all, Rob here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. And the topic of this video is about the HasLab, Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider, failing to hit the early bird unlock. And so that extra figure, which is about $25 value retail if it was you know, on the shelf. That extra figure, the uh, civilian look of that modern Ghost Rider, you're not going to get it as part of the package. Now you see, maybe they could try to get it out, but they really can't because you made a promise that this is an early bird figure. And if you don't reach the early bird f status, then you don't get the figure. You know, so you can't go back on your word now as part of the company so who knows maybe down the line you could get that civilian figure and something else but as of this campaign you cannot get that figure because then they would be lying if they did produce it so here's why I think a couple of points why this HasLab has failed even if it gets funded okay and yes I think it will get funded because you have over a month away and you have halfway plus to your goal but what I think might happen is all the tiers of how many they have I don't think they'll get all unlocked so it's already even if it's funded it, it has partially failed and also will this be one of the few if not maybe the only project that while it gets approved, all the extras do not get unlocked. You know, is this what's going to happen? And I think you'll probably get the first unlocked. You'll get the 12,000. I'm not sure what the second uh, goal point will be. Will it be 13? Will it be 14? Maybe you get the second unlock, whatever that is. But I think it's really doubtful that you will get the third unlocked option. If there is three, you know, that's an assumption. So if there's three unlocked, I think the third one will be, it's going to be very close and it probably is not going to be funded. But again, even if all of this is funded, all of even if all the tiers are funded, the fact you didn't get the early bird makes you miss out on a figure and it is a indication of failure in the campaign no matter what happens I was thinking you know why has this project failed to generate the uh, enthusiasm as previous HasLab projects so here's a list I made of some just thoughts and ideas so check it out first we're gonna go with the big one this version of Ghost Rider this Robbie Ray's figure is not as popular as the two previous Ghost Riders he is not a hot in-demand character okay they want the Johnny Blaze figure they want the Dan Ketch figure of the 90s with an with an accurate 1990s bike not like some of their modern interpretations where they changed the bike for the character. This version of Ray is as the new Ghost Rider. He is a modern character that does not appeal to the old school comic book readers. So the old school readers really don't have much interest in this character. And also, the modern movie-going public doesn't know about or care about this character either. Because he's not a movie character. Now, you could say Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. show was garbage. And do you have raving fans all over the place demanding Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. figures? No, there's not. 
that show has a very small audience appeal. So MCU fans in general, Disney Plus stuff, they don't even know this character exists because they didn't watch that S.H.I.E.L.D. show. And he has such a small following from any TV appearances. So he does not connect with the general MCU movie audience. And this Ghost Rider does not connect with the old school comic book readers and fans. So it was a bad character choice. That is the biggest reason for this failure to hit the early bird. And in general, the Hasbro people to approve this overestimated this character's level of connection with the public. And that's the basic question, the most important. If you're going to do a HasLab project, is this character worth funding? Is it popular enough? You know, can we make good money by promoting this? And again, like I said, he's not popular enough. Not popular enough with the movie audience going public, and he's not popular enough with the old school comic book fans. So that's the biggest reason. The second reason why, even if it's funded, it's not a complete success anymore. And that is, everyone knows deep down this is not worth $350. You know, I've posted other videos in my community feed with a bunch of other YouTubers as well. And the point is, despite how much you try to defend it, if you get four figures, if, okay, that's about $100 retail, give or take. So you're, you're basically dropping $250, give or take, for just a car. Two fifty, And after the first few weeks of liking it, what are you going to do? You're just going to leave it on your shelf. Are you going to light it up and then take the lights off? Are you going to play with it if you're going to... No, it's, it's none of those things. As previous people have shown, they had the Batmobile, the Justice League Batmobile, fully remote. And that was under $300. Fully remote, camera in the car, lights up, smoke, a whole bunch of stuff. I didn't even know that Batmobile existed. So let's just get to the point. Is this car basically worth $250? And the answer is it's not. It's just an object that after a, f a few days or a few weeks that you like, you're just going to put it on your shelf and it's going to gather dust. And that's the reality for most people. And deep down, it's not worth 350 Now, people are going to argue, well, manufacture this and manufacture that, right? But here's the bottom line. The NBA basketball figures, they're going to charge you $50 a figure. If you buy eight NBA figures, which is the first series, that's $400 before tax. Eight figures, $400. And then they're charging demand... DeLorean, it's a two-pack. It's not even three with the Grogu. He, he's an accessory. They're issuing Mando and Ahsoka. They're adding the spear, which fans have wanted, and they're giving her a cloth robes. They're not even giving him cloth robes, which would be better so he could fit his jetpack. So you're getting two or three minor accessory upgrades, and they're charging for a two-pack about $67 before tax. That's not a $70, you know, with the tax factored in. For two figures, that's not a $70 thing for minor upgrades. Why isn't it 52 or 55 Here's the bottom line. These are indications Hasbro... It's about the money. It's not about giving you good value for your dollar. Not anymore. See my previous video when I was talking about the Marvel Legends were the best game in town. Where they gave you the best value for your dollar. Now compare that to the NBA line. This Mando 2-pack example. And I bring it up because they're not giving you the best value for your dollar. 
And so, you're not getting a good deal. Like I said in my video, McFarlane Toys is giving you the best dollar value for what you buy. They're the best game in town now. It's not Marvel Legends. Cost-wise, for what you're paying. And so this 350 it's not justified. It's the bottom point. It's about making money, okay? And sure, Ryan, Dan, and Dwight are cool guys. I even seen them in a convention years ago. Dwight. Uh, they're, it's nothing against them. But the thing is, you got to understand, it's not them. Their marketing, their design, they don't make the price points. They don't call the shots. They're not upper management. They're not the ones setting the price ranges. It's not them, people. It's not them setting the 350. It's not them saying, making the big calls. They're not, they're not the ones saying the NBA figures should be $50. That has nothing to do with those people. They're not upper management. They're not the executives on top. They're not the ones calling the shots. And even though they mean well, and like seeing them in the community, even though they're doing all that, it's not their fault, okay? So you shouldn't blame them for anything. They're just doing their job, which is to sell you the products that upper management wants. So everyone knows it's not worth 350, it was 0.2. Number one, 0.1 was this GR is not popular enough. Here is the third point, and you gotta understand this. This HasLab project, wanting 350. We're in tough economic times right now this past year. Food prices have went up a lot. Gas prices and fuel have went up a lot. There is inflation. There is other stuff that you have bought or that you need that has gone up. Has your paycheck gone up? Has how much you made went up this year to offset what you're losing by paying these higher prices? No, your, your paycheck has stayed the same. And the job market, because of the recession, is going down. So the job market, people will be losing their jobs maybe. Tough economic times. Food, gas, other essentials all going up. And so in these tough times, people have less money to spend. You really think they're ready to drop 350 And by the way, it's not 350 Because with shipping and with taxes... Because I tried it out, it was three hundred ninety-four dollars on checkout. So even though they're saying three fifty, the real world is this is three hundred ninety-four dollars, give or take, depending on your state. Taxes might be a little different, but basically four hundred bucks is the reality of what you're going to pay, and this is money you're going to pay right now, and you're not going to see the product until next year. So you're dropping four hundred. And you're not going to have the product itself for a whole year. So, you know, that's a, that's a very tough pill to, uh, to take in, okay? And, you know, it's just the tough economic times is why this project is not such a success. Why it hasn't reached the early status. And here's another problem. This is point four. You know, the people who fund the G.I. Joe His Tank, the classified line, a good portion of them are also Marvel Legends fans and Star Wars fans. So you've got the people who like Marvel Legends, a good portion of them collectors also like the G.I. Joe stuff, and they like the Star Wars stuff. Well, they recently produced a HasLab just a couple of months ago for the Hiss tank in the 300 range, right? So it's like too much Hasbro greed is the problem by putting so many HasLab projects close together. Now, the Riva lightsaber failed in Star Wars but had it been funded the people who bought the Riva lightsaber and they would have bought the G.I. Joe Hiss tank 
and if they bought the Ghost Rider, that's almost a thousand dollars out of your pocket to fund all three projects. Now the Star Wars failed, okay, but how it succeeded is the point. So you got two projects. If you bought the His Tank, and you bought this Ghost Rider. You're down over $700 in a couple of months for product you will not see until next year. So it is that Hasbro greed of putting too many HasLab projects close together for fans. So if you like both or more, you just dropped $700. And so that's why the Ghost Rider is not getting funded by some people because they bought the His Tank. And this Ghost Rider is not popular enough. So that's why. It's too much Hasbro greed. It's too much putting HasLab projects close together for the same buying public who likes both properties. You know, it's too much to afford. I think that's a factor that's not been talked about in the community. It's that they're putting so many of these has labs together the past few months. It's just, it costs too much. It all builds up. And they should have spaced it close. They should have spaced it far apart. Like six month gap between the projects. And here's the bottom line as I, as I wrap up this video. I think it was an experiment to go a different direction and I think the experiment failed because what you were selling was basically a car. That's it. You had a giant Galactus, you had a giant Sentinel, Sentinel robot and what they sold you was a car that basically you could have put on the toy shelf. You know, you really couldn't put a huge Galactus or a, a huge Sentinel on the toy shelf. You know, not, not of that quality. You couldn't. So that is a true HasLab. But this Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider, a figure with a car, you could have sold that at the retail stores. You know, you really could have. It wasn't special or unique enough that you had to make it a HasLab. What I think is the future is they have to reconsider and they made a bad choice let's just be honest they made a they made a bad selection this was not the way to go what i think they should have personally made was the big characters the big characters have shown the previous two has labs this is the way you tried to go another way with the car it didn't work so the next HasLab should be a big guy. And who should it be? I'll give you two suggestions. It should be a Celestial. The leader of the Celestials. Or it should be Eternity. Celestials appeared in the movies. Eternity appeared in the last Thor movie. There's a connection with the movie fans. And there is a connection to the old school comic book fans. And there's a connection to Kirby. And there's a connection to Ditko. So you have the old school fan appeal with a Celestial or an Eternity. Either figure is justified to be Galactus size or bigger. Either figure connects with the movie audience and it connects with the comic book readers of all generations those are the two big guys that should be funded now or in the future if you make an eternity I hope you would go back and make him semi blue transparent look at the old toy biz Genesis Captain Marvel variant, which was the modern Captain Marvel of the 1990s. He's like the only figure in the whole entire line 
that had a bluish translucent plastic. It wasn't fully translucent, but it was partially on the blue pots, and it looked really nice. If you look at the old Toy Biz Wonder Man variant, you had a translucent purple. It wasn't fully transparent, or it wasn't fully translucent, but the purple was a little bit see-through. That's the type of plastic I would like for an eternity to make it like dark blue, a little bit transparent, but not exactly. You don't want them see-through. You don't want to see through it like Invisible Woman, but you do want it enough that it adds, that it doesn't just look like a solid figure. You know, I think Eternity, it needs more than to look just like a solid figure that is painted like the galaxy. I think it needs that semi-translucent but dark plastic like the Genesis Captain Marvel like the Wonder Man purple variant. That type of plastic, that type of look, that should be for eternity. As for the Celestials, you either have two big choices. The leader, the big red one, or the guy with the, looks like six eyes, you know, the circles. Either of those two are like the most popular Celestial that you're going to find. They'd probably go with the six-eye look, even though he's not the leader, if we're talking comic material, or the leader. Either Celestial. Uh, it connects with fans. Both of them are justified to be supersized. And that should be the next HasLab. Either Eternity or the Celestials. A possible HasLab in the future, but he's not popular enough right now so I don't think he would get funded and he's too basic he's too simple in design and he's not popular enough with the movie audience is the living tribunal that could be a future HasLab the problem with the living tribunal is like I said it's way too basic a design other than the head the body is very plain with no detail so it's like it looks too cheap that looks too cheap to pay 350 or more for a living tribunal but the uh, the unique sculpting the unique design of a celestial that justifies 350 or more as for eternity you would have it's a little tough because how, how do you portray the galaxy on eternity it only painted in you have to use a lot of paint. And the problem is the, the galaxy. What they should do is maybe they do little sculpture parts for like comets or, or different stars and suns and stuff in the galaxy. You know, so it's a little more textured. So you get that little texturing in there. And so that's it. That Here's the bottom line, like I said. And we're just going to wrap this video up. Thanks for staying around and watching it. So, the modern Ghost Rider. You're not going to get the early bird on lock. And why it failed, in order. Number one, was this Ghost Rider was not popular enough. He doesn't connect with the old school comic fans. And he doesn't have a connection to the MCU movie fans. Two, everyone knows $350 for this. Uh, it's not worth the cost. Number three, tough economic times, the food, the gas prices up, everything in the real world costing more. They don't have money to spare for this. Number four, people funded the Hiss Tank, same buyers who like Marvel Legends. The HasLab, they got too greedy. They should have spaced it out six months apart. It's asking too much for the audience, all of these projects. And my suggestions for the future HasLab, you have shown the way with the past. Make the super huge guys, so make a Celestial. Make an eternity. That's the only way we're going to get those huge figures. Has a lot of projects they might consider. And if they did want to do something experimental, I would suggest, what if they made a line of six-inch figures that you couldn't sell for retail, 
you know that. Number one, it would be very hard to sell to the mass market. You know, just because of who the characters are. So it would be very hard to to get the that you wouldn't want these figures on the toy shelf for parents. So so those type of characters get six or seven of them, a line that you really didn't want to sell to the general public, and make it an exclusive that you only sell on Haslab. That's never happened before. A Haslab, a whole line, a whole set that you just sell to the to the Haslab people. Not to the general public and you're not gonna release ever again. And make a promise, you know. Even make a promise to the audience that this unique sculpt, this version of the character, will never be resold again. We will not use these molds again to sell you this figure again. Uh, if they did sell the figure again, it would be a new sculpt. But it will not be the same mold. Okay, so you get something unique. You get value. That's the 350. That's the project. Future HasLab should have been a Celestial, should have been Eternity. And what if they sold the whole line of figures that was just exclusive, a whole wave that you couldn't sell in stores, direct to you from the HasLab of controversial characters. That would be pretty cool. And finally, you know, just my final thought here. I thought of that. You know what would have been a better deal than the Robbie Ray's Ghost Rider? If they made, even though they've made it before and announced it, if they just made the original Ghost Rider in blue with his original early design bike, could release that again. They made a Dan Ketch Ghost Rider in this accurate 1990s bike. If they made Vengeance in his bike, so that's three characters, and and they charge three hundred, so it'd be like twenty five for the figure, seventy five for the bike. Could have made that three hundred project, and that and if they did the unlocks for the main Ghost Rider villains, and people have had that before, so maybe it wouldn't get so funded the first one. But I think it, it still would have been a very... It would have been a better choice than what we got for the HasLab this time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening to all this. If you like this type of talk, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. Stay safe, my friends, and I will talk to you later.